All right, once again, all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, double honor to the apostles, nailed as a great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. So just a continuation, you know, in the book of Psalms, chapter 64, verse 7, it says, But the Most High shall shoot at them with an arrow, suddenly shall they be wounded. Okay, now we know how the Most High is going to shoot at them. We know how the Most High is going to strike them. Okay, they're going to be stricken, uh, striked by what? The bow, which is a thermonuclear missile. Let's go get that real fast. Let's go to the book of Job, chapter 20. Job, the book of Job, chapter 20, verse. Let me see. Job, chapter 20, verse. Verse 22. So it says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, and this time about Esau Edom, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. So this whole agenda that he's trying to push, when he thinks he's about to fulfill this NWO agenda, when he thinks he's about to fill this whole, you know, uh, this this karagma agenda, okay? He thinks he's going to be able to, you know, put the elect under that title or under that banner or to be subject unto him but it's not going to work and he is going to have a whole lot of people conform to his image conform to his way of life conform to that agenda but the elect is not going to uh, conform to it all right so it says in the fullness of his efficiency he shall be in straits meaning he's he's going to be in trouble he's going to be in pearls when he thinks he's about to prosper and to uh you know uh, maximize or, or finished his uh his, his uh wicked plot every hand of the wicked shall come upon him when he's about to fill his belly the most high shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating he shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through okay this is talking about this thermonuclear destruction see the most high is going to put a stop okay to this devil's agenda you see the Most High is going to shoot at him. As he's shooting at us, okay, in secret, the Most High is going to ultimately strike him. He's going to strike him down. All his plans, all his thoughts, all these things that he thinks that he's going to be able to, you know, uh, uh, you know, these things he, these things he thinks he's going to be able to accomplish, he's not going to accomplish. Right? And we're telling him to his face, as men of the Lord, the servants, the prophets, that he is not going to accomplish a damn thing. Okay? Meaning he think meaning the hundred percent of his agenda, he's not going to accomplish it. Right? He is gonna, you know, uh, push this and force this upon the earth, upon the people, and a lot of people are going to conform, but the elect is not going to conform. All right, so it says when he's about to fill his belly, when he thinks he's going to uh, finish. You know his uh, or accomplish his uh agenda the most high shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and it shall rain in upon him while he is eating and he shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of the steel shall strike him through it is drawn and cometh out of the body you get a glittering sword coming out of his gall terrors are upon him and this is talking about the sal sal salos okay and the missiles coming up out of that and uh you know Coming forth to do his wonders, okay? We know that one that wonder is going to be what? <laughs> that destruction is coming upon the planet Earth. So going back to the book of Psalms, chapter 64. I want to finish this out. It says, so, so, so they shall make their tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away, and all the men shall, and all. And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of the Most High, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. Okay? Then the righteous shall be glad in Yahweh and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. Yeah, we're going to praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Hey, even like when you see it, for instance, how we see prophecy happening throughout the earth. Okay? We're praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because the Most High is doing exactly what he said. Right, his words is not are not made void. Okay, and this is a beautiful thing to see. And this devil thinks that he's going to overcome. He thinks he's going to win, but he's about to lose. Right, 
He's about to take the a major L. And all you people that are joined side by side with him, whether you Israelites, you, you other nations, y'all are all about to take a major L. Right? Y'all are all about to take a major L. So all you, you niggas, you 230ians that's joining side by side and hand in hand with the wicked, okay, trying to join forces and, and be on the side of Amalek, right, the Edomites, you about to be through. And you about to take this major L as well. Okay? And that's what we're seeing. Let's continue. So I mentioned this earlier. Because you nations think y'all getting away. For the things that you have done to the, ch the children of Israel. To the Lord's people. The book of Isaiah chapter 34. Verse 1, it says, Come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all the things that come forth of it. For the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. Because this is what's going to happen in thermonuclear destruction. Okay? That's why all the nations being gathered to where? The valley of Jehoshaphat. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. Yep. So all you nations that's gathering all to the uh, Valley of Jehoshaphat, okay? The Valley of Decision, the place where you're going to get judged, where you all think y'all going over there, where one of y'all think y'all going to win to be the world's next superpower, okay? No, no, y'all all going over there to be judged, okay? To be destroyed. So all you people that's in, the, in any uh, sort of you know, your militaries of these other nations, when you go over there, you're not coming home, all right? Forget about it. Says their slain also should be cast. Verse three, their slain also should be cast out, and their stink shall come out of their carcasses, and the mountain shall be melted with their blood, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be shall be rolled together as a scroll, and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine, and in the, and as the falling of the fig fig from the fig tree. All right, so this is going to happen to you people. All right, this this earth being. Rolled together or the heavens being rolled together as a scroll. Alright, this is talking about that mushroom cloud, which when a nuke hits, you know, a place, that's what that's the uh, the uh, one of the after effects is, you know, the, the smoke rolls up into a mush mushroom cloud, you know. And it's talking about the slain and the carcasses and the people that are gonna be left in the in the streets, all right, left, you know, in in the in the uh, in the lands or in that in that land unburied. Okay? Because they're all going to be what? Desecrated. You see? See, when Yahweh Shai and a, and a holy host, the, the angels return to the planet Earth. And when y'all lift up that sword, the thirst fight against the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, y'all going to be completely melted. All right? You get this. this You get that war in heaven, you know, a visual when you read the book of Second Edges, the 13th chapter. But see, this is about to happen. This was to come upon, coming upon you nations, you heathen. Or even, hey, even you two thirds that's gonna go over there and, and fight against the Lord, you see. So, I just wanted to, you know, uh, do it, finish in continuation of that, uh, as I, um, because I got cut off earlier. So, so well, I hope, hope was that a fine. Till next time, I want to say shalom.